<laughs> I must say, Miss Monochrome couldn't have chosen a better date or time to uh, parody Star Wars because of the trailer to the new Star Wars movie being released this week, or oh, it has already been released. And yeah, the thing they parody is not like any of the figures, it's just the fun they use. And it actually has significance because we take a trip back to the first season of Miss Monochrome, where we see um, the promise that Miss Monochrome made to the ancient Kiraka, that she would strive to become a top idol together with uh, Kiraka. Or, yeah, like, you know, they would compete against me uh, with being the top idol. And now Kiraka has been reborn. However, Miss Monochrome, she only remembers the promise she made uh, to Kiraka. She doesn't remember anything else about her past because that's gone so long. However, this is not like the main thing about this episode. It was more to remind those people that may not have watched the first season or has forgotten this. I still remember it. And he even pointed that out that the vice uh, viewers, they would most likely, they wouldn't need this. So yeah, it's pretty funny. But as I was saying, there's a the episode here, the main focus of it is actually appeal for Miss Monochrome. Or rather, she is trying to appeal to the elder people. However, she has an issue because her suit, mascot suit, has been uh, sent to uh, cleaning by Mano Manager. And yeah, it doesn't help either that Yayoi comes and uh, tells her that she has to get into that uh, because... Um, she um, basically needs to enter into the uh, Grand Prix of her mascots. So yeah, they they are gonna tr they are basically going to build a mascot out of because they they don't have access to the their current mascot and they build it out of cardboard boxes. And I'm, I'm gonna say, Mano Manager in that cardboard box. It takes balls. It takes balls to what he did. Also, again, Ruchan. He is very, very. Oh, is it a he or is it a she? I actually think it's a he. Which would mean that Miss Monochrome was his waifu. Hmm. Interesting. Because uh, he actually cuts the boxes. So yeah, pretty, pretty. Pretty user. He's pretty versatile. Interesting man. But Miss Monochrome doesn't like that. So Yayoi, she has amazing drawing skills because in a few seconds she basically draws like a perfect <laughs> and very creepy mascot, which she also very fast gets like put together. I like Miss Monochrome's, like, she looking at it and face says, those eyes. It's like I'm staring into the abyss and the abyss staring back at me. It's perfect. And yes, she managed to appeal to the elders. They even ask if she want to be their granddaughter. So, yeah. <laughs> it's really nice. However, there's one thing. What is it with that cat that looks like a demon or something? cat in this episode but when all that is said and done guys i will say you all need a, to have a good day good night there you are or i hope you have it and cheers guys